Amidst the background noise of distant artillery, a drone hovers above, and a sniper lurks in the attic of a dilapidated house. Modern warfare unfolds from a distance, with tank skirmishes becoming a rare occurrence. This shift has prompted the military-industrial giants to prioritize effective camouflage methods. The German company Rheinmetall has come up with the Rosy Smoke Defense System, designed for light vehicles. The system consists of several 40mm cannons that shoot up sparkling fireworks, but instead of colorful lights, they release dense, impenetrable smoke. This not only obstructs the enemy's visual contact, but also blocks infrared radiation, rendering homing missiles ineffective. Activating Rosie takes mere seconds, placing the success of subsequent operations in the hands of the driver mechanic. If gunfire erupts from the north, the optimal move is to head south. Nothing beats hands-on training out in the field. Soldiers worldwide need to master skills like grenade throwing, target shooting, and maneuvering on the battlefield. Galvian Warfighter Training System acknowledges the importance of these basics, but suggests adding a practical touch by simulating assault operations in their own lab. They vouch for their gear's optimal performance. Their robust and lightweight helmets offer variable protection thickness, along with smart power banks that intelligently distribute energy among devices. The power bank autonomously decides where to channel more power, be it the night vision gear or the GoPro. The company's pride lies in its training facility, fitted with security cameras in every nook. Participants wear augmented reality goggles and engage in realistic raids that look like a Counter-Strike match from the outside. It even makes you want to join in, but not as a terrorist, of course. Water obstacles pose a challenge for advancing forces and often act as a natural boundary between warring armies. Permanent bridges in particular suffer a grim fate as they're swiftly demolished by aviation upon orders. This leaves soldiers with two options. Either they cross by boats or build a temporary pontoon bridge. Elbit, a manufacturer of engineering systems, has unveiled an enhanced design for infantry-friendly temporary bridges. The heaviest component in the kit is the delivery pallet, weighing in at 630 kilograms. The other elements, including the 4-meter sections, the pontoons, and the roller water deployment system, weigh slightly over 40 kilograms. This means that two soldiers from the engineer troop should find it manageable to drag them to the water. The Elbit Bridge, without additional supports, spans 36 meters and can be assembled by a trained technician in just 10 minutes. For wider water obstacles, the bridge requires pontoons. Once successfully landed on the opposite shore, the best course of action is to hide the bridge. If the enemy stumbles upon this valuable invention, they'd likely seize the opportunity to drag it away. Drones have seen improvements each year, yet their four-propeller frame remains unchanged due to its proven benefits in speed and stability. However, engineers at Vapor decided to diverge from the norm by presenting a compact electric helicopter for the military. The standout feature of this development lies in its impressive flight duration, ranging from 70 to 105 minutes, depending on the configuration. A significant leap compared to drones that typically operate for no more than 40 minutes. Moreover, the helicopter is equipped with a system for generating 3D terrain maps, although the rest of the specifications are rather ordinary. The device has a payload ranging from 4.5 to 10 kilograms, a built-in camera offering a quality similar to that of the DJI Mavic 3 and a sizable case. Carrying such a load on the front lines would make one vulnerable to aerial attacks, so it's much safer to navigate through positions on an armored personnel carrier, especially one based on the indestructible Toyota Land Cruiser 79. Hudson Recon has reinforced the chassis of this legendary SUV, 
creating a formidable vehicle for border troops. The SUV boasts a turbocharged V8 engine of 4.5 litres and 202 horsepower. There's a special opening compartment for a drone on the roof of the Land Cruiser. Interestingly, even on this off-road powerhouse, transporting a regular drone is far more manageable than lugging around a helicopter from vapor. Five years ago, drones seemed like toys. Affordable models had a 360 by 240 pixel camera resolution and were sold next to classic remote control cars. Fast forward to today, drones have become war deities, guiding tank and artillery fire, performing enemy surveillance, and even taking on armored vehicles. Luckily, drones aren't just about destruction anymore. Malloy Aeronautics has trained them for life-saving missions. The massive T-400 can hoist up to 200 kilograms of cargo and was specifically designed for evacuating injured individuals. The drone provides a snug spot for one fighter, enclosed with a transparent lid from above. However, there's a significant flaw in the design. During battle evacuations, the drone becomes an easy target, and surprisingly, the manufacturer didn't even put a red cross on the fuselage, something that should have been a no-brainer. A true man doesn't film stuff with a video camera, nor with a phone. He films with a scope. The optics company Teledyne FLIR just released the Thermosight Hiss HD. It's a device that can film videos, but here's the kicker. This scope can see bullets up to 2200 meters away. Not traces, but just regular bullets. It's got an image sensor with a cryo cooler and processors that react to the heat from the bullet. The scope weighs over 2 kilograms. The makers say that it's a must-have for snipers, machine gunners, and scouts. Now, how do you figure out if you're in the crosshairs or just getting your picture taken? Soldiers have to haul around loads of gear to the front line. Weapons, body armor, helmets, ammo, food, and medical supplies. While many companies are working on cutting down the weight, others are testing out exoskeletons. These devices are meant to ease the burden a bit. Check out the Uprise Tactical Exoskeleton. No batteries or charges needed. It works based on some solid calculations. Uprise takes the strain off the back, shoulders, and lower back. The US Army Special Forces found huge benefits during testing. It doesn't cramp a soldier's movements, so no need to worry about clunky, slow terminators showing up anytime soon. As one artillery designer once said, a tank is basically a cart with a cannon. RCV EMAV backs that up 100%. This unmanned platform with a hybrid engine can adapt to all sorts of add-ons. You can hook up a tank turret, an air defense system, a rocket launcher, or even a telescopic crane. And if you're not gearing up for a war but still dig the RCV EMAV, there's a loader module with a pitchfork. Turn your routine gardening chores into a thrilling adventure. The platform can hit speeds up to 80 kilometers per hour. And with a full tank and a juiced-up battery, it can cover over 320 kilometers. It's easy to transport by helicopter or transport aircraft. Now, we'll have to wait and see if the good old tanks will hold their ground. Worried about your package getting banged up during delivery? Check out the RAMT Shockproof Capsule an invention to ease those concerns. It's dropped by parachutes wherever urgent items like weapons, medical supplies, radios, or unmanned systems are needed. It weighs 56 kilograms and can carry up to 181 kilograms of cargo. The capsule even comes with polyurethane wheels for ground transport. Just keep in mind, if you're ordering this not to the front lines but to your home, it might just make a hole in your roof.
Remember the movie The Hurt Locker? Jeremy Renner strolled around in a massive suit, diffusing warheads. Nowadays, robots handle those risky jobs. Kinetic's been manufacturing the Talon Android since 2000. They're a go-to for law enforcement and first responders. These robots are pros at dealing with both pro-planted explosives and makeshift bombs. Talon's been on multiple trips to Iraq and Afghanistan. The 6th gen robots are gearing up for production. These mechanical sappers roll on tracks and sport a telescopic arm with a video camera, perfect for checking under a car or an APC. Talon's creators even share videos of the robots surviving blast waves, even though they don't show what happens to those video cameras on the arm in the end. In modern warfare, heavy-duty trucks are as crucial as armored personnel carriers and tanks. Who else is better suited for hauling tanks for repairs or transporting ammo? Rheinmetall rolled out the HX family of eight-wheelers, built on the sturdy ladder frame of the time-tested civilian truck Man TG. The machine's safety margin is good for handling any off-road terrain. It rides smoothly thanks to the suspension system with long rubber springs, shock absorbers and stabilizers. The HX comes in various versions. Some are fit for transporting damaged equipment, while others handle people and cargo. When there's a job to be done, man can get it done. Fun fact, military pilots still use a night vision gadget tucked under their helmet for night flights. Weighing in at 500 grams, it puts some extra load on the neck. Luckily, BAE Systems Corporation is working on a solution. Their Striker 2 helmet not only rocks night vision, but also has a system showing what's behind the plane. That means that you can see enemies, even in blind spots. Striker 2 looks like a regular AR headset, but more reliable, because a tiny software glitch could mean trouble in a real air battle, not just losing a game level. You won't find this helmet in stores, and who needs it without a fighter jet anyway? But there's a shock-resistant helmet from 8 on the shelves. It cuts injury risk with special pads that absorb and spread impact energy. The pads also soak up moisture, making it a hit with cyclocross fans. This helmet starts at $230. Napoleon would have paid a fortune for a portable water purifier. With this device, his campaign in Egypt might not have ended in a devastating defeat. The HFD purifier is tailored for NATO troops and can purify both fresh and salt water. All a soldier needs to do is unpack the case and set up two hoses, one into the water source and the other into a container. The HFD purifies the water using electricity and is powered by BB2590's DC batteries that can be charged via regular outlets or with solar panels. Its waterproof design can endure temperatures up to 60 degrees Celsius. However, it's not exactly compact. If Napoleon had one, he'd need an extra cargo horse to carry it along. During World War II, the Soviet Union actively used anti-tank dogs. These were real animals with mines strapped to their backs. They were trained to throw themselves under enemy tanks. The 21st century doesn't tolerate such brutal methods of war. Robot dogs have replaced living ones, though. The invention features a short body and four springy legs. It has an RPG-18 mounted on its back, which is supposed to be controlled remotely. The authors proudly presented the project in August 2022. But we mustn't forget that similar developments appeared at Boston Dynamics much earlier. Only scientists from the eastern United States used robots to transport goods without ever thinking of attaching a grenade launcher to the top.